Is boxing's future in the hands of Jake Paul? Oh, Jake, Jake uh, Paul? Yeah. You know, these guys. Or is he just making money in a celebrity out of a sport that has been around for centuries? Whether you consider Jake Paul a tough or an innovator, he has turned into one of the most discussed personalities in the sphere of sports and entertainment. Jake Paul has got to be the dumbest, cockiest, stupidest, most egotistical person in the social media sphere. Paul's journey has been far from conventional, from the days of a YouTube prankster to a boxer whose fights have been well documented in the media. But there is another story that is much more disturbing and is shrouded behind the amazing knockouts and viral moments. <laughs> and that is the question of the fairness of the sport and how far some people will go to stay relevant. In this video, we will know the dark truth behind Jake Paul's success in boxing career. After all of one's opinion on Jake Paul, he is no doubt a well-known character in today's sports and entertainment industry. Paul is a popular person on the internet and YouTube due to his funny videos. He made the decision to achieve the professional boxing career. However, it has taken him a while to get from being a well-known figure on the internet to a wrestler who goes by the moniker Problem Child. This is a tale of rivalry, betrayal, and fame-seeking that has occasionally fogged the essence of the game. More. Yes, sir. It's Muhammad Ali. He's more capable of. In this video, we'll examine the issues that have surrounded boxer Jake Paul's career and go further into his legacy. Jake Paul first became well-known on YouTube, where he frequently posted offensive video. His early videos had a lot of tricks, stunts, and antics that attracted a youthful, blind viewership, but the uproar around him rose along with his number of subscribers. Jake Paul gained a bad reputation in the online community very fast due to his risky pranks and charges of abusing kids. Jake Paul started to change his priorities while his YouTube career was at its height. He saw a chance to make a name for himself, this time as a professional fighter rather than a practical joker. While some thought this was a planned ploy to cash in on the growing popularity of influencer boxing, others saw it as a desperate attempt to stay relevant in a field where relevance is temporary. For better or worse, Jake Paul was going to start his new journey that would make it hard to tell him what is entertainment and what is sport. Jake Paul made his boxing debut in 2018 against a YouTuber DG Alatunji, who was Logan Paul's undercard opponent. Despite it being clear that neither the boxer was professional, millions of people still watched the match. Jake Paul triumphed, and something appeared to ignite within him upon experiencing victory. He got status immediately as the problem child, a nickname that would significantly impact his boxing image. But there were questions over Jake Paul's debut fight in the ring. Many questioned whether his dedication to the sport was genuine or if it was just a means of gaining attention. He was up against other influences, not actual professional fighters. After all, some believed that Jake Paul was abusing boxing for personal benefit, not seeing it as a serious physical activity but rather as a vehicle for promoting his brand. As Jake Paul continued to box, the controversy surrounding his career grew. A significant critique aimed at him has been the level of skill of his rivals. In the realm of boxing, Jake Paul stands out for his preference to challenge fighters with less professional experience. He has notably squared off against opponents such as Nate Robinson, a former NBA dunk contest champion, and ex-MMA fighters Ben Askren and Tyron Woodley. Jake Paul has gained much success and attention through his fights, but no respect for it. Some claim that rather than being a respectable sports endeavor, Jake Paul's boxing career is more similar to a well-produced reality show. A larger discussion over the morality of mixing entertainment and sports has been pushed by the emergence of influencer boxing, which features Jake Paul at its forefront. Boxing's rich heritage is said to be destroyed by influencers who view it as a side gig, according to traditionalists. They argue that when matches are decided more by social media influence than by skill, the integrity of the sport is affected. Furthermore, there are doubts regarding influencer boxing safety. Every time a person enters the ring, they run a significant risk of injury, as boxing is an unsafe activity. Opponents claim that Jake Paul's bouts, which frequently include inexperienced opponents, minimize these risks. While some may find it enjoyable to watch a novice fighter like Nate Robinson get knocked out, it also begs concerns about the accountability of those who are sponsoring these matches. Jake Paul's boxing career has also been marred by frequent doubts and accusations of fight manipulation. 
Some doubters think that his bouts are prearranged in order to continue his winning streak and improve his standing. Following Jake Paul's first bout against Tyron Woodley, when some spectators claimed to have noticed strange moments that suggested the fight was rigged, these charges were especially widespread. Even though these charges are unproven, their existence indicates the mistrust that many people have for Jake Paul and his style of boxing. That a bout may be manipulated is quite concerning in a sport where trust and fair play are crucial. Jake Paul's boxing career is the result of a well-oiled machine meant to maximize earnings. Every facet of his boxing contests, including pay-per-view sales, sponsorships, and items, is carefully designed to produce cash. Boxer Jake Paul is more than just a name, he's a brand, and his bouts are an item to be promoted and bought. However, this money-first strategy has given rise to criticism that Jake Paul is more focused on his financial gain than on genuinely improving boxing. His critics contend that he is merely using boxing as a means to an end, taking use of the sport to pad his own wallet while making few contributions to the sport's advancement. It's critical to consider any potential long-term impacts Jake Paul may have on boxing as he continues his career. On the one hand, it's evident that he's brought boxing back to life and attracted a younger crowd that might not have otherwise shown interest in the sport. He has, in a way, kept boxing relevant during a time when other sports dominate the news, as millions of people watch his fights. But the question still stands at what cost. Jake Paul's boxing style may be dangerously copying other approaches by putting entertainment value over athleticism. Should boxing prioritize spectacle over athletics, the sport's integrity may suffer permanent damage. There is concern that boxing may become less about talent and competition in the future and more on fame and hype as a result of Jake Paul's impact. The boxing career of Jake Paul is a contentious and complicated subject. On the one hand, he succeeded in a field where few people believed he could succeed by reinventing himself. However, his boxing style has been tainted by controversy, allegations of manipulation, and doubts about his genuine motivations. It's evident that Jake Paul's quest involves much more than simply boxing when we examine the dark reality surrounding his professional career. It is a story of control, stardom, and how far individuals are willing to go to maintain their status of stardom. It remains to be seen if Jake Paul will have a positive or terrible legacy in boxing. But one thing is for sure he altered the sports environment for the better or for the worse in a way that was permanent. Thus, Jake Paul's boxing career is a manifestation of the new trends of modern entertainment and the growing connection between sport, performance, and social media. There's no doubting his influence, regardless of your opinion that he's an opponent renewing boxing or a contentious character eroding the sport's credibility. Moving forward, it's critical to consider the extent of our entertainment tolerance and the implications for boxing and other sports. Though only time will tell, if the problem childish legacy will be seen as a positive development or as a mark against the sport, he has undoubtedly left his imprint.